Dylan, uh, welcome to the show. How are you today? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me on here. So it's always good to see y'all and, and chat with y'all. Y'all are some good people, good company. So thanks for having me. So I guess we'll just get in with uh, first thing, another season of uh, the U Football League. Um, when when can people sign up? You know, just kind of give the basic information of. Uh, how much and everything like that. Okay, so to register, you go on www.bcyffl.com. Uh, we actually have a new updated site. Sean Bowers, our director of player personnel, uh, just went ahead and updated it, so it's it's pretty user friendly. It's $150 to register. You get six weeks of play. The games are on Sunday. Uh, practice will be 30 minutes to 45 minutes before the the game actually happens. So there's not an obligation to show up to every single day. Of the week, you know, going to practice and everything, so it's it's pretty parent friendly. So that's another thing. Um, but if you go on that website, www.bcyffl, it's pretty self-explanatory as far as going through everything. And you can check out our Facebook page. Same thing, Berkeley County Youth Flag Football League, and find all the information on there. We do a pretty good job of trying to get all the info out there, you know, for the parents and stuff. So it's uh, one year down since the beginning of the uh, Youth Flag Football League here in the county. Just talk a little bit about how much it's, uh, I guess, grown. Oh, man. So, yeah, one year down. This is coming up on a year with, we started last fall. We started off with 34 players, and we were like, man, is this thing ever really going to take off? Because it's, you know, around the United States, this is becoming a new and improved thing. People want to play flag for the for the younger youth. So... Had our spring slash summer season, had 140 kids register. So that was that was pretty awesome. Saw that big climb. We had a great season. And then upcoming for this season, we're projected to have 150 to 200 players. So just, you know, great involvement with the community, parents. The atmosphere is getting better. Uh, the competition is high level. There's, there's just plays being made out there that, you know, I couldn't have made when I was a kid. So I'm kind of jealous on that. But... Uh, just a lot of advances being made. We're, we're trying to build this thing, you know, day by day, brick by brick, and trying to get it to where, you know, it really needs to be because I'm, I'm sure you all have seen other flag football leagues around the United States. This is just getting started here. You know, we're going to try to be the forefront, you know, here in West Virginia and in Martinsburg to try to build up a league, something similar, you know, that is around the United States. So it's fun for kids. They enjoy it. You know, the parents enjoy it, and we, we have a good league going on. So. What sort of changes have you guys made since the, the very beginning last last fall until now? And what sort of changes do you still hopefully, you know, want to try to make later on, maybe as you as you start to grow more? So with the unique thing about our league, you know, it's an NFL flag league. So the NFL backs us. We have the reversible jerseys. We have the authentic NFL flags. Uh, the high quality of just the player uniforms, that's the first thing. You know, kids can buy gear. They can get all the things that they need. Also, too, playing on Martinsburg football field on the turf. That's another thing. It's it's pretty cool. It's You know, you're not going out and playing in holes and grass or anything like that. You're playing on a safe environment. Um but it just as far as everything goes, you know, we're just trying to, you know, get a couple additional things uh, needed. And this season, we're going to have the electronic scoreboard set up. Uh, we're going to have even more referees. We had some great referees this season. Uh, they're coming back, you know, people that actually play football and uh, another thing. Um, but just as far as everything goes, I'm, I'm doing the announcements during the game. So that's another thing, giving it almost like a live atmosphere. Uh, coaches are doing really good. We're, it's just just it's just taken off the, you know the way it needs to but as far as you know community involvement i think that's the biggest thing people are coming to the games and they're like man we're having such a great time here and you know that just makes us just want to become better and you know add different things especially with the website you know being up and sean did such a great job you know having all that information on there so um you know getting the word out that's just the biggest thing the more people that come the better we can make this thing so how many teams are you anticipating having and uh, how many games for each, I guess, age level? So with the 140 players we had last year, we had three divisions. So we had the freshman division. Um, that is six to eight years old. And we had four teams in there. Then we had the JV, the junior varsity. We had four teams in there, and that is um, ages eight to 11. And then... 8 to 10, sorry about that. And then the varsity uh, league, we had four teams in there, and that is 11 to 14. So we're projected to either have four 
or six teams in each division. So it's pretty high level. You know, we have good pool play, and then uh, this season coming up, we're probably going to have three or four teams make the playoffs for each division. So that last week's pretty hectic, and it's it's pretty crazy good comp. So. So with the $150 registration fee, what does that include other than I know you mentioned the, I guess, uh, reversible jerseys for it being an NFL uh, flag football league, but what else, I guess, equipment-wise do kids need? Uh, so th the biggest thing is, I mean, that money, the $150 goes to the jersey and the flags. And also, too, you know, we buy mouthpieces for the kids if they want them as well. So that money goes to the equipment. Um, and then the other part of that registration, we've just been taking that money and putting it into, you know, buying the scoreboards and doing all those other things, just trying to make the league better. Because right now we're operating just off the, the big scoreboard, you know, for Martinsburg High School, and we're doing a running clock. But we want each field to have their own individual clock. And then also registration money goes to the rest to pay for them, you know, every single week. So. Uh, when it comes to paying the, uh, pay the fee, who can they get into contact with? Uh, so you can actually reach out to me to my phone number, 703-786-6250. Also, too, you can reach out to our Facebook page, Berkeley County Youth Flag Football League. You can personal message us. Uh, also, we have an email set up. It's registration at bcyffl.com. You can go on there and you can inquire through everything. And also, there's a chat button on the website as well that you can ask any questions that you kind of need. So, For those tuned in on our Facebook or TV 10, uh, you can see now the graphic made for the uh, Youth Flag Football League that also has a QR code that I believe will take you mm -hmm. straight there for uh, registration, too. And I'm guessing, again, you guys are having sponsors uh, help out as well. So uh, Yes, so, yeah, so right now um, we have our official league sponsor, Jared Ferguson State Farm Insurance. He's located on 29 Veronica Drive. He's our league sponsor. If you come to any of the games on Sundays, you'll see his big tent right there in the middle of the field. Uh, Jared's also a former Fairmont guy. I don't like Fairmont, Shepherd guy, till I die. <laughs> but um, he's a coach for us. He coached for the Steelers last year, coaches his son, Jake, and then also his daughter, Grace, uh, plays for the Chiefs in the varsity league. She's a beast. So it's a co-ed league, if I didn't mention that as well. So, um, which makes it, you know, pretty cool for, for everybody. So, but he's our official league sponsor now. We've had, we've reached out to different places, uh, just kind of waiting on, you know, here and back. But if anybody would like to sponsor us, you know, we do need additional equipment. Uh, some of the things we need a new, uh, flag tent. It's an official NFL flag tent. Uh, also, too, we'll have a refreshment station underneath that tent, but it'd be somewhere for the kids to kind of cool off, especially during the summertime. Uh, they can go into there, chill out in the middle of their games. You know, they can refresh with the water jugs and all those things that we provided. We need uh, NFL flag footballs. Uh, that's another thing. Also, to the scoreboards, we need about five or six for each field. We'll have about four to six fields running at one time. And then also, too, just, you know, cones, official NFL flag cones. We're just trying to build this thing up, you know, the way it needs to be with all the official gear instead of buying some stuff off Amazon or anything like that. So we wanted to look, at the, you know, look the part, showing the NFL brand, putting that out there that, you know, this is the the best that you're going to get as far as, as flag goes. And that's what we want to provide to the kids in the community and the parents. No, you guys also have a giveaway opportunity uh, going on right now, it looks like, here on your Facebook page. It will end uh, September 1st, but it's a autographed orange Chicago Bear jersey of Tyson Bajant. Oh, yes, sir. So thanks to the to Travis Bajant, Tyson, and the Bajant family for, you know, donating that jersey to us. If you go on our uh, Facebook page, like I said, again, Berkeley County Youth Flag Football League, if you like, share a page, uh, share that post on the page, uh, it actually enters you in for a chance to win that jersey. We'll announce it on September 1st. And also, kids that uh, register their parents that register them, they automatically are entered into the giveaway uh, f for September 1st. So that's another thing. Go out there, check it out. But it's an authentic jersey. We have the official seal with it, too, uh, the authenticity seal. So, you know, you're getting a pretty nice jersey. I really like the Bears orange, too. I don't know how you all feel about it, but I think that's... The, I always like the orange jerseys, yeah. Yeah, so I think you're pretty cool, so... Yeah. Do you guys have more questions about the league before I go off topic with them? 
Uh, unless there's anything else that we're missing about the league that you want to get out there, just reiterate again when it starts. Uh, Yes, so the league starts September 22nd. Um, It'll be on a Sunday at Martinsburg High School. And then also, too, we have a skill showcase, September 8th, for all the kids that register for this season. Uh, You could just come out there. We'll just be a scrimmage style. We'll put you on different teams. You'll run through a script of 20, 30 plays, you know, and then after you just – it's just a fun scrimmage day. Kids get to go out there and just have fun. And then you'll be placed on different teams. Coaches will select and put you on different teams. And then also, too, we have some upcoming events uh, for this upcoming season. So the former players in the spring and summer season and the kids that register for this season they actually get to get into the Martinsburg football game on Friday, August 30th against Blue, which is next Friday. Uh, they get to go on to the field. They get in for free. Um, they get on the field and then they actually get to be next to the Bulldogs when they run out of the tunnel for their opening kickoff, which is pretty cool. So, And then also, too, set October 10th, I spoke with Shepherd Football. Uh, kids will get to get in free to the Shepherd Football game. And then also, too, they actually get to come on the field before, you know, the game and get to see the players warm up and all other stuff. So it's it's a good atmosphere. So good little events for, for the kids to, you know, be a part of and try to get the word out there, too, as well and see those high-level players, see something to strive for. It's a nice transition to my question. How are you feeling about the Rams this year? The the Rams, Coach McCook, he's going to have them guys ready no matter what. Um, you know, he, he's a guy that, you know, takes it day by day and understands that, hey, you know, we're not just going to come in here and win with just outright talent. We're going to have to build this thing, uh, build this team, build this thing, this, this uh, mantra of our team. We're going to have to build it day by day. And I think Coach McCook does a great job of doing that. And I think, you know, whoever the Rams have on their team, I think they're going to be in contention to win the PSAC always, especially with Coach McCook. They have a great coaching staff. You know, I I enjoyed playing with Coach for years. And, you know, I always felt like when I went out on the field, I was always prepared for the game. And no matter what, he had a good game plan for us. And we were uh, in the best situation to win the game. All right, Dylan, thank you for the time. And, again, uh, just, you know, reiterate how people can register. Yeah, so go on the website, www.bcyffl.com. You can go on there and register. Uh, Also, too, once you register, uh, there'll be another thing that you can go into. It's a Google Doc. You can fill out player information, jersey size, all that other stuff. But, you know, just reach out to us. Use our chat button if you you need any help registering. But uh, it's usually that website's pretty pretty good. It's uh, user-friendly. So appreciate you all for having me on. And, you know, appreciate the community for building this thing up. You know, this is good for the kids, and that's our motto. We do this for the kids, and that's what it's about. So just keep building this thing. Uh, thank you all for having me on, and I appreciate you all for this platform. So appreciate, appreciate it, as always, Dylan. Yeah.